This is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey folks, how's it going? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I'm your host, Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Now, you know what time it is. It is old school NBA time. And in today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends, giving their opinion on how good Reggie Killer Miller really was. I wanted to do this episode for quite some time, so I'm happy that today's finally the day. But before we get into that, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Simply Seattle. If you are are an old school NBA fan and you love the Seattle Supersonics, this is exactly the right place for you because not only do they have the largest collection of Supersonics gear, but they also partner with Sean Kemp and Gary Payton for signed autograph pieces. So make sure you check out the link in the description box below to get your Seattle Supersonics gear. All right, enough said, let's dive right into today's episode. Now the first clip that we're going to take a look at is from the Dan Patrick Show and it involves Chris Webber and Reggie Miller himself talking about, well, Reggie Miller. Let's have a look. Did you guys ever have any friction when you played against each other? I didn't have friction with him, I had friction with Vlade, because Vlade was the instigator. But yeah, I, I, was, I was a big fan of Reggie, but I didn't like him, because he was always beating our teams, you know, like he was the catalyst, you know, I knew he was the one that's gonna be talking junk, getting in the guys, and so he was a guy like you always wanted to play with, but when you're playing against him, you just hate him. He's talking junk, you saw what he did to the Knicks, you see him kicking out, this is the human kickstand, I've named him because <laughs> when he shoots the three, all that, that leg stuff that he complains about when we do games, yeah, yeah he, he might have helped because invent all that. Now, if we talk about one of the greatest rivalries of the 1990s, we have to talk about the Indiana Pacers and the New York Knicks. So naturally, John Starks and Reggie Miller would have their battles on the court. So let's hear what John Starks has to say. So Reggie Miller, you and I, we talked about a couple months ago mm -hmm. and you had mentioned that Reggie Miller was a tough guy to guard yeah. because of off ball and he just never stopped moving. So talk about guarding Reggie and how you prepared for a guy like him. Well, with Reggie, you know, you have to stay locked in. Mm -hmm. Like if you lose sight of him or you lose focus on him, he's going to bang you up very quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Two yeah. or three, four threes in a row, you right. know? And so my mentality with Reggie was, it's going to be, we had our own separate game. It's, I'm guarding you and those other eight guys, they're going to be playing basketball. Right. But I have you, you know? And that was my mentality, not to let him get going because once he get going or any player in this league get going, you can't shut the water off, right. you know, especially with him because he, he has a different mentality. So you were just in the bubble? You didn't even see the other, other no, stuff? No, no, no. I literally, it could be, you know, a rebound come right there. I'm like locked into him, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, you have to have that mindset with, with Reggie because I can remember the game, game one, uh, where he scored those points in that, many seconds right eight points and eight like points yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah yeah and so i got him on lock then we made a sub and bam he hit a shot i like ah oh. i'm sitting on the bench like are you for real i mean he was on lock right because he then he just right and by the time i got back in Oh, he was on fire. It was too late. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was, was already he was talking late. to Spike. Spike, and he was just in this whole mode, because I've been in that mode, and I right. know how it is. And, um, yeah, it was just too late. The following clip is from NBA Open Court, and the topic is the 10 next best players. You remember back in the 1990s, there was that top 50 players of all time, and now they're talking about who would be the next 10, and it's pretty interesting what Isaiah Thomas has to say about Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller? No. I'll, I'll take myself off this. Mm. I'm not on that list. I, I coach Reggie Miller. I, I'm going to put Reggie in there. And, and, I, and, and I would say we, we talk about 
clutch shot makers. I'm not putting myself on that list. So to it's me, not gonna be real. To me, uh, Reggie Miller. I'm not putting myself on that list. To me, Reggie you. Miller was one of the clutch shot makers ever in this league. And when we talk about clutch, I'm not talking about at the end of the game. Reggie Miller would make those shots when you down four and you need a bucket to stay in the game. That's when you're giving it to Reggie Miller. A lot of the, a lot of guys miss those shots. But the shots that you got to make to stay, to keep up with the team that's pulling away, that's when you got a shot maker. And I to agree. me, Reggie's on that. Zeke, I agree. So is, I agree. I agree. take yourself, if because you can't, you're not going to vote for yourself. Do we have unanimous Reggie Miller? I, I'm on that. Yeah, I'm on best that. shooter of all time. I'm on that. I'm on that. Shaq, no, no. you on that? Shaq is on a hold up. Shaq's mad at me. No, I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I mean, I. Just doesn't like you. No, it's just that, <laughs> no, I. No, I actually love Reggie. Me and Reggie, we have similar backgrounds, military. Who? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with Ray Allen because okay. because Ray Allen sort of can't fault that. All right, Ray Allen. Ray Allen in the top no. next ten. No, hold on. Yeah, over oh, Reggie. Yeah, no, because Ray 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 uh, took what Reggie did and kind of turned it up to that next level. Now for the next clip, I'm very happy that I found that one. Why? Because, well, it's some of the greatest players of all time talking about Reggie Miller, and you can hear how much respect they got for Reggie. Let's have a look. Reggie Miller is one of the best pure shooters that I've ever played against. It's hard to guard him, coming off screens. You know, he could also put it on the floor and take it to the basket. Uh, that's what they don't talk about a lot, but his jump shot was one of the purest I've ever seen. A little unorthodox, it looked really funny but he would make him. You don't ever want to leave him. He was a good athlete. And at 6'7", he had the length and height to shoot right over most people. And it didn't take him long to get that shot off. You know, when you see a guy shoot the ball that quick with that much accuracy, uh, I think of Reggie Miller. Well, anytime you have a great score uh, that is an opposing score, your game plan defensively is around that guy. How do you slow him down? How do you stop him? And Reggie was no different than any other great player. You had a game plan. How are you going to slow him down? How are you going to stop him? How do you keep the ball out of his hands by trying to deny him? But he he moved so well without the ball, it was hard to stop because he never stopped moving. He's one of the great adversaries that I ever had to coach against. And, you know, I knew that when I was coaching against him, that I had nothing but respect for him. Uh, but Reggie is, uh, is, is absolutely one of the all-time greats. Uh, I mean, when you talk about his kind of game and how he played, uh, there were only one or two other guys you know, in the same circle. The next thing that he brought to the table, he loved the big moments. He loved the big games. He loved the playoffs uh, or the big marquee matchups against his arch rival, whether it was Michael Jordan or somebody or the Knicks. He got up. The bigger the game, the bigger Reggie Miller would perform and play, the better. And uh, this guy was just unstoppable. Reggie was so clutch, you know, that's he wanted the ball in his hands and he had a unique ability to draw fouls. So he's always able to keep the defense off balance because he was such a great free throw shooter. You don't want you you don't want to get your hands caught uh, and foul him, so he creates space, and that's all he needed was a little space to get that shot off. And it seemed like he, he was a higher percentage shooter with the game on the line than he was actually probably during the middle of the game. And um, as an opposing player, I really didn't like him too much. <laughs> and uh, that's a compliment, because it, out of respect, and he would get under your skin. But when I became his teammate, I love playing with him. He's one of my favorite teammates of all time. And uh, when when we were in a close game and the ball was in his hands, the face was in shape. My favorite player growing up was Reggie Miller. Reggie, Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Number 31. So many people that inspire me, the guys that I want to model my game after. One of my idols growing up, NBA legend, Hall of Famer, multi all-star, Mr. Reggie. Alright you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, please leave a like and if you're new to the show, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out Simply Seattle. The link is in the description box below. You all stay healthy and see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine.